Hello, my lovelies! Welcome to Torrent Talk! <laughs> so, guess what? Chicken butt. No, sorry. That's so sad. <laughs> Any hoodles. Uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here with wet hair uh, because this month is Heatless Curl Technique Month. Um, which means as soon as this is almost completely dried, I get to put it up in some form of heatless curls, and uh, and then for tomorrow's video, we will take those down and see how they do, um, which also means on Wednesday, all of our hairstyles on Wednesdays will incorporate whatever heatless curl method I used on Tuesday. Um, yay! It's all coming together. Uh, but... I also want to take this time to tell you about something that has been in the works for a long time. My beloveds, um, my patrons knew about this about a month ago uh, because I shared with them, but it is now official so I can share with all of my lovelies. Um, my lovely friend Chad, you know, who gave us light. Um, an illumination. Uh, he and I have been working on a shampoo. So you guys know uh, that I've been heartbroken since my favorite shampoo was discontinued. And uh, I have been searching and searching for something similar that would do all the things that I needed to do. As you know, um, since my shampoo was discontinued, I use usually at least three shampoos. One for my scalp when it's getting crazy, uh, one for my hair for general purposes, and then once a month I clarify with a sulfate shampoo to get rid of all the cones because I am a cone abuser. Um, and for anybody asks, what are cones? When you look at the products, your conditioners, if you see dimethicone, that's a cone. Cones will build up on your hair over time and give it a funky kind of texture. So you have to strip them off occasionally before you start to reapply them again. Cones are what gives your hair slip and aids in detangling. Now you know. I am a cone abuser. I love dimethicone. I love amandobethicone. I love all the cones. All of them, the cones make me happy. Um, but they do build up on my hair, so I do occasionally need to clarify. Well, what happened was I had this much of my favorite shampoo left. This much and I sent it to Chad. My friend Chad owns Snow Water Soap Company, and I've told you about him before. He makes lovely lotions. I always have a lotion. Um, he makes this awesome oil that I use in my hair sometimes, no fly zone, although I will admit that I use it mostly for all of my wooden hair toys because it smells like roses. So all of my wooden hair toys, I condition them with this so that they smell good, and then it's good for them because it's oil. Just saying. Um, and my soaps, the soaps that I use on my skin come from Chad. I love Chad. Well, I sent him my tiny sample, my remnants of my favorite shampoo, and I asked him if he could reverse engineer it or figure it out for me because I am not smart at chemistry, and Chad is. <laughs> he did it, you guys. After many trials, um, None of these products were tested on animals. This product was indeed tested on yours truly. <laughs> and Chad, I have been trying out all kinds of, yes. Um, and I'm here to tell you that Chad has developed a formula as close to my holy grail shampoo as we can possibly get. Um, it smells right, it feels right. My scalp loves it and my hair loves it. It is a clarifying shampoo. Um, it will strip every single cone from your hair, all of it. It also will not agitate your scalp, at least it doesn't agitate mine, and it cleans very quickly. Um, now, what I have before me is actually my last tester bottle. You see there's only a little bit left in there. Um, but this is the size bottle you will get. A bottle this size, the name of this shampoo is Torin, because Chad is awesome, um, is $9.50. 
But if you just want to try it, he does make two ounce travel sizes for $3 if you would like to try it first. Now, the Torin is the clarifying shampoo. Um, it is gentle enough to use every wash if you wash once a week. If you wash more than once a week, though, I do suggest that maybe you pick up the Felicity, which is almost the same formula. It does have a little bit of clarifying, but it has a lot more conditioning properties. Um, just so, because if you use this like every couple of days, it when I tell you it strips cones, it strips cones. It strips everything that lays on top of your hair out of it, including oils. So if you are not a hardcore cone abuser, then go straight for the Felicity. Um, but if you are like me and love your cones and wash about once a week, um, pick up the Torin or you can use it once a month um, because it will take everything out of your hair and it does not um, can you tell from my scalp? It does not hurt your scalp. I tried to do a hard part so you could see it. No flaking, no redness, no itchiness, um, no craziness that always happens with my scalp. None of that. And it's wonderful. There is one thing about this that you may not know. So as you can see, hopefully you can see, you see it is very liquidy. Um, so you shake it up and you can see this actually suds. There are no sulfates in it. Um, I don't know how he figured out how to make this work, but that's why he's the scientist person and I am just the guinea pig. Um, when you use this stuff, it's not typical where you put it in your hand and rub it together and put, no, 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 no. That's wasteful. We do not waste things here at Torrin Inc. Um, you put it right on your head like this. This is what I do. Just right where I want it. Um, you end up using less that way, but it's also a little more concentrated, um, but you won't waste product. So don't put it in your hand. Just apply directly to your head. Uh, you could probably even put it in a squirt bottle if you wanted, but, um, or mix it in with one of your other shampoos if you would like a little more clarifying. It's nice and thin. That's the way I wanted it. That's my, that's my bag. That's my bag. So I'm excited, you guys. How excited are we? The holy grail of shampoos is back. Um, and it's named Torin. And if you want the more conditioning version, you want Felicity. Um, Chad is also super duper awesome because he gave us a discount code. If you go to snowwatersoapcompany.com and order your Torin or Felicity or both, which is what I did, um, this is the last of my tester bottle, so I ordered some for myself today. <laughs> um, if you put in the discount code, hashtag TORNPAGE, all caps, um, I should do a thingy here, um, you get 15% off. No little crappy 5% off. No 10%. 15! 15% off. Um, and before you ask, yes, I do believe he ships internationally. Um... It will just, the shipping price, of course, will depend on where it's shipping to. He does not charge you handling either because he thinks that's a load of malarkey. Um, he only charges you whatever the post office will charge him for shipping. So he does not inflate the rate, as it were, um, because he's a good and honest person. So we have our shampoo, you guys. Um, I know my hair's still wet, so it's not as, like, awesome as it could be, but this is a sulfate-free shampoo, and hopefully you can see how shiny, and it's so soft, and it's wonderful, and the next thing we're going to try is the conditioner to go with it for me, so you know it's going to be super coney. He ordered dimethicone just to try starter, and a couple of other types of cones, we're going to whiff him into concoction. I'm not going to do anything but try it out and see what I like the best. Um, I like being a guinea pig. Uh, sometimes it was a little odd uh, and things weren't quite right, but we got it right. And that makes me so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, so excited. So, any hoodle. Oh, and P.S. If you are one of my curly haired girls, um, one of my girls with natural hair, 
or one of my girls that only uses conditioner to wash, he has CO cleansing conditioners too. I have tried them. For some reason, condition only just does not work with my hair and that's okay. However, I passed on the ones that I had bought to a couple of my girlfriends that have curly hair, naturally curly hair, and it was a huge hit. I had the ooh la la lavender. Um, and then I do believe Jamie ordered the mint, might be rosemary mint, but there's another cleansing conditioner that he sells. And at least from two curly girls uh, in my own personal life, who I've hair I've had my hands in, it works great. So if you are one of my curly girls or one of my CO girls, you might want to look and see if you like that. Um, everything always smells good. And he grows half of the stuff like the lavender he grows in his garden. The mints, the rosemary he grows in his garden. He makes all the stuff at his house. This is super handmade. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> So any hoodles, as you can tell, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to have a shampoo named after me. I was very excited to be a part of the process and get to try and try until we figured out what worked. And I'm very excited and looking forward to the conditioner because you guys know I am a conditioner junkie. Yes, I am. So, um, yes, I just wanted you to know about it. The link to Snow Water Soap company is down here. Do not forget hashtag torn page for your 15% discount and tell Chad I said hi. Um, and once you get your stuff, tell me how you love it. P.S. If you're one of my patrons, you are officially in the drawing for um, gift basket from Chad. He has decided that he wants to do that for my patrons because he's awesome. He is also one of my patrons. <laughs> so there you go. Um, any hoodles? Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to go and sit so my hair can get drier so we can try one of these crazy heatless curl things and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I've been looking through. I'm not sure which one we're trying first, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and P.S. Do you see this gold sequence? Thank you, Veronica. We all must thank Veronica for the sparkle in our lives, or at least my life, because sparkle.